hello what's happening it's your boy dollar graphics thank you so much for coming back if you are old here and if you are new here please don't forget hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so as to be notified when i drop a new video so in this video i'm going to show you how to design a restaurant flyer like this without further ado let's get started all right this is my cover draw i'm using new version 2021 so when else I'm going to do is create a new page. To do that, I'm going to over to this place where so I have my plus and over here like this. I just click it like this and I have my page like this. The size I'm using for this flyer is A5 size. You just come over to this place and change it to A5 size like this. So I have it at portrait like this. So what else I'm going to do is to double click on my rectangle tool over here in my tools bar to fit it into this white box that I have over here like this. I'll just go ahead and double click it like this and have it fit into that white box. What next I'm going to do is head over to my property bar, locate where my outline pen is, then get rid of the outline by clicking on that node like this, over here like this. So what next I'm going to do is to head over to my tools bar again, select my rectangle tools over here, then drag and drag it like this. Place it over here like this, bring it down a bit. Just take your time and do it properly. So what else I'm going to do is to convert this my right angle like this to curve. I'll go over to my tools bar like this, select my shape to then control key on your keyboard to convert it to curve. So what else I'm going to do is to click on this side of the boss at the top like this, over here like this, then head over to your property bar, then over here where it says Convert it to curve. I'll just go ahead and click it like this and I have it convert to curve. So when I drag it like this, you see that I'm going together with this side of the node. So I drag this side like this and bring it down a bit like this again. Then do it like this. So what next I'm going to do is to duplicate this rectangle like this. I just drag and drop it like this. Right click to duplicate it then click on this one bring it to this side of your project then click it to head over to your property bar then rotate it this way and i have it like this so what next i'm going to do is to fill them with color i'm doing i'm going to select both of them hold down shift while selecting the first one then select the other one then fill them with orange color like this and I have it this way. Click on this stroke, right click on this stroke to get rid of the outline like this and have them out. So, what else I'm going to do is to select this one and hold down shift on my keyboard to select the other one again. Bring it to this side, right click then select power clip and I'm going to select power clip to bring it inside my project like this and have them inside. Go back to this place where it says edit or better still right click on your project then select edit power clip over here like this so i'm gonna select this hold down shift on my keyboard then select the other one bring it to this side like this i just go ahead and click finish like this so what else i'm going to do is let me adjust i think this basin is a little bit small i'm gonna adjust that and bring it to this side like this have it like this so what next i'm going to do is to bring in the resources i'm going to use for this flyer i have them over here in my page 3 i just drag and drop this one in my project over here like this scale it down and select power i right click on the burgers like this then select power clip i'm going to power clip it inside my project like this you'll see your cursor will change this the normal one to something that looks like arrow like this i'll just select my project and it is right inside my project like that so what else i'm going to do is to come to this place where it says edit like this i just bring it to the side select this first one at the top this right this right angle at the top like this i'll just hold down shift on my keyboard then drag it up then right click to duplicate it I'll fill that with this white color. So I'll just bring it to the side like this. Now I want to power clip this my burger into this my white 
before so right here like this i'm gonna do that by selecting the burger guys click on it then select power clip then place it like this yeah so i'm gonna hold down on to my keyboard click on the white triangle like this to select the burger that you have inside the rectangle like this i'm gonna position it like this i just want that side of the burger to be showing like this and now click on this side where it says finish like this and i have it like this so what next i'm going to do is to come over to my tools by again over here like this select my rectangle to and then draw a narrow one like this then i'm going to select my shape tool like this then draw it like this drag it like this to give it that curve shape like this then click on it again like this click on it again like this then rotate it this way so i'll just position it this way this side increase the outline over here like this what i'm going to do is to increase the outline i'm going to increase the outline by coming over to my property bar over here select your outline pen to click on the drop down arrow then select two so i'm going to change the color to yellow like this hold down shift on your keyboard then duplicate it this side then reduce it like this hold down shift while you're using it why scaling it down like that so i just bring it to this side do the same thing and bring it to the other side like this so this time i'm bringing this one into it in inside of this bigger one i just bring it like this then right click to duplicate it inside like that so i'm gonna fill this one with white like this I just select everything like this then right click then select power clip and i have it right inside my project like that yeah so i, I made a mistake this one was supposed to be yellow so i'll change this color to orange like this and i have it that way so what next i'm going to do is to go inside my power clip again so let's your your project like this. Come over to this place where it says edit. I'll click on that edit, then it will take me right inside my project. So what next I'm going to do is to select this my rectangle to at the bottom like this. Then right left click and drag it like this. Then right click at the same time to duplicate it. Let me fill that with so that you see it one at the, at the top. So I'll click on the rectangle tools again to give it this this sign of this rotation sign like this. So I just go ahead and do it like this. So I, I have it this way. So what I'm going to do is to select the white this white box over here like this. Hold down shift on your keyboard, then select the orange one like this again. Then head over to your property bar over here like this and select this trim like this and i have it this way so you can see i'm having this side of the point like this alone and i'm also having the white let me change the white to orange like this so that you will be able to see what i'm talking about so as you can see now i'm having this white space in between the two rectangles like this so when this i'm going to do is to okay let me break this apart once you kill my keyboard then select the side of the rectangle that i trim delete it like this come over to this side again then delete this one like this so what i'm going to do is to give this one that looks like that i turn to act like this i'm going to give it a gradient like this press join your keyboard to select the gradient to then drag it this way i'll just go, i'll just go ahead and fill it with yellow like this come back to my property bar then select this mode over here like this and i have it like this so let me bring this closer to this so what is i'm going to do is to bring in my background like this over here like this i'll bring it and drop in my project like this right click then select power clip like this and i'll be decide my project like this 
so what next I'm going to do is to go inside my project like this. I'm going to do that by going over to this place where I have a date. I'll just go ahead and take it from that side. Then select the background that you power clip inside. Then press Ctrl, page down your keyboard to send it to back with your shapes like this. I just go ahead and click finish from this side and I have it this way. So what I'm going to do is to select create a circle. I'm going to do my tools bar over here like this over here like this. I just select my ellipse tool, then draw a circle like this, then hold down shift on your keyboard, then left click to drag it to the side, then right click to duplicate it like this. So I'll highlight it, then duplicate it to this side. Make sure the edges of the last circle are is touching each other. So I just go ahead and duplicate like that. Then control R on your keyboard to repeat it. So I'll select highlight it, then scale it down like this, and I'll bring it to this side like this. Scale it down a bit again. So fade the one at the bottom with white for now. So I just go ahead and get rid of the outline by coming over to this space where I have my stroke sign right click then to get rid of the outline so what is i'm going to do is to head over to my property bar where come what to do so i have my word i just go ahead and wait it like this and have them as one so what is i'm going to do is to okay okay what i'm going to do is to increase the outlines of this one at the top i'll go over to my property bar over here like this select my outline pen then click on the drop down I will then select two. So I'm gonna change the color law from black to yellow like this and something like this. So what next I'm going to do is to head over to my page three where I have the resources. I just drag this three stuff like this, then drag it into my project like this. And I'll place it like, like this. So I'm gonna drag this bug at first, place it inside of the first circle at the top like this. Adjust it like this. Hold down out on your keyboard to select the bugger inside the circle like this. Then just take your time and do it properly. Do the same thing to the other one and bring it like this. Then do it to the last one as well. Yeah, and I have it this way. So what next I'm going to do is to select the white one that I made. This white one at the bottom. I just go ahead and change the color to orange. Then give the shadow like this. And I have it this way. So Ctrl Q on my keyboard to break the shadow apart from the circle that I made. Ctrl Q on my keyboard and I have them apart. So this is the shadow. I just go ahead and bit map the shadow over here like this. So I will bring the shadow a bit, I'll bring it to the bottom like this, I'll just position it like this, I think it's okay like this, and I'll have it at the bottom like this. So, I'll right click on the shadow and select power clip. Now, sorry, I'll select my shadow, right click then select power clip to place it inside my project like this. And I have it right inside the project like that. So what I'm going to do is to bring in this my logo. I'm going to do that by selecting it over here. I'll just press Ctrl C my keyboard to copy it. And come over to my project Ctrl V your keyboard to paste it like this. I'll just bring it down like this. So what I'm going to do is to create this. This stroke that I click over here at the bottom of this logo. So to do that, I just come over to my choose bar like this, then draw draw a narrow shape like this. Select your shape tool, then drag it like this to give it the smooth edges like this. So I'm gonna fill it with orange color. Get rid of that line by clicking on this stroke over here like this. Scale it down like this. Then Click clicking once again to give it this sign of rotation, then drag it like this. I just bring it to this side like this. 
you'll be getting like this sorry i'm gonna duplicate it like this then control out to put it like this then select that my logo at the bottom then press control page up to bring it at the top like this just go and push it like this select everything then bring it down like this so what else i'm going to do is to bring in this my test that i have over here like this i'm going to press ctrl c on my keyboard to copy the test come over to this place my page to then paste it that you use ctrl v on your keyboard bring it down a bit like this and i have it this way the font that i use for this is called montserrat in case you want to download it this is the font that i use for it montserrat for the with the width is natasha bella in case you want to download it i have it over here like this Let's go ahead and change this one. Go down one, please. So what else I'm going to do is to bring in this test that I have over here like this. The social media handle and the address over with the delivery bike. As I highlight it like this. Control C on your keyboard to copy it like this. Then come over to your project, control V to paste it like this. So as you can see, the one that I place is overlapping the circle that has the bugger on it. So to, what I'm going to do now is to adjust them. I'm going to select the three circle with the with that of the circle that I made at the bottom one. Then bring it up like this and scale it down a bit. So do the same thing to the shadow that I have inside in my project. Go down out on your keyboard to select the, the shadow inside the project like this, then scale it down again like this, then adjust it like this. And have it that way. So just drag this one up like this, position it that way. Do the same thing to this one and drag it up like this. Sorry, so what next I'm going to do now is to come over to my choose by again, draw a shape like this, then select your shape to over here like this. Then press Ctrl key to convert it to curve over here like this. So what I'm going to do is to double click on this side to get rid of this side like this and have it this way. So click on this side of the then head over to your property bar, come to this side where it says where it says convert it to curve. I'll go ahead and take it like that and have it this way. I'll just drag it like this and have it this way. So bring it to this side. It really want it, then fill it with white right color, get rid of the outline like this, then duplicate it, then fill this one with orange like this, and I have it that way. Highlight, highlight them together, then press Ctrl G on your keyboard to group them. Right click on it, right click on it, then select power clip like this, and I have it right inside my project like that. So, yeah, that's how I was able to achieve this restaurant flyer like this i hope you like the video please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn the notification bell so as to be notified when i upload a new video